When you think about it, it's a pretty harsh environment out here in the sun, the wind and the rain. So it's a good idea to take good care of your Zodiac pool cleaner. Here are a few handy tips. One, take your Zodiac pool cleaner out before superchlorinating your pool. Two, disconnect the pool cleaner's hose from your skimmer box before backwashing your sand filter. And three, when your Zodiac pool cleaner is out of the pool, make sure you store the hose in a straight line, not coiled up. To ensure your Zodiac pool cleaner is ready for summer, there are a few quick jobs that we need to do. The first is to block off the main drain in the skimmer box if you have one. The second is to ensure you vacuum your pool manually. And the third is to ensure that you clean out your filtration system, including the baskets in the skimmer box and the pump. Now that we're ready, let's go and set up our Zodiac pool cleaner. If you've had your Zodiac pool cleaner stored away for winter, then there's probably a good chance that the hose has been coiled up. We want to uncoil that hose and the best way to do that is to lay it straight in the sun. Just simply by pulling it out like that and laying it down the side of the pool. Now there is another way of getting the hose straight and that is pouring hot water through it piece by piece. Just remember to wear shoes when you do that though. The next thing we need to do is to have a look at the head of the cleaner. There's a few things that we need to attach to that to get the ball rolling. The first is what we call a deflector wheel. That deflector wheel comes down over the extension pipe and actually clicks on. The next part that we need to look at is what we call the hose adapter. This little pink piece here and that just slides slightly onto the top of the extension pipe like so. Now what we need to do is actually put the hose together, feed it into the pool and attach it to the head of the cleaner. But before we do that, we want to get a rough idea of how much hose we will need for the size pool you've got. We normally want to go to the furthest point away from the skimmer box and add an extra two lengths. So what I'll do now is I'll feed the cleaner into the pool to allow the air to escape from it and then feed each hose I need until we get to where we want to be. Now, there's two ends to the hose. There's the female end, which has the barracuda word written on it, and there's the male end. It's the female end that will attach to the head of the Zodiac pool cleaner. Before we do that though, we need to actually put a hose weight on this hose because this becomes our leader hose. That hose weight slides onto the hose like that. Now we might need to balance the cleaner later and we'll get to that in a minute. What we'll do next is actually push the cleaner into the pool under the water to get the air out. We then feed the hose like so onto that cleaner and actually get the air out of that hose piece as well. It's important to get the air out of the hose because we're running into a pump system which we don't want air getting into. Taking the next length of hose, pushing that onto that cuff there and feeding that into the pool. And we keep doing that until we get to the desired amount of hose required for the pool. So now we've got to that last length of hose we need to connect it all into the skimmer box. Now, when we're working in a skimmer box, just make sure you check for spiders. Every skimmer box has a skimmer plate. Now, there's probably about 20 to 30 skimmer boxes on the market, each with a different plate. So, make sure you've got the right plate for your skimmer box. Once that's sat in place above the basket, we take the AD valve. Now the AD valve that comes with the Zodiac cleaner is made to fit all sorts of types of skimmer boxes. This actually connects to the hose and this allows the water to bypass the cleaner at the right amount. So the AD valve goes inside the skimmer box and then the hose attaches to this side of the AD valve. In this skimmer box we didn't need to use our weir adapter or universal adapter. However, we do supply that and that helps fit into all those different types of skimmer plates. Now, fortunately, the cleaners work straight away. But we want to test to see the right amount of flow suction coming through the hose. And we do that with what we call the pull pulse. So what I'll do now is I'll actually pull the hose, the head of the cleaner, right up to where I am. Okay, so we're coming up to the cleaner head here. So holding everything under the water, we take the pink leader hose adapter connected to the hose off the cleaner and put the pool pulse 
onto the end of that hose. Now, the correct standard setting on that is number two. However, that might not always be the case. And if it's not sitting on number two, maybe it's on one, three or four, then we recommend you go back to your manual to find out why. Now that the Zodiac pool cleaner is working comfortably in the pool, we want to make sure that it's balanced correctly. Now, if the pool's very deep, you might need to move that hose weight around. So go back again to your manual for the correct position. But usually, the hose weight will sit roughly at the end of that leader hose, that first hose connected to the cleaner head. Okay, the cleaner's working in the pool, so it's ready to go.